and my interest in Alzheimer's disease and Lyme began when I uh, attended a meeting in Vienna, Austria, and I heard them uh, describe uh, stages of Lyme disease, and they used the words uh, you know, primary, secondary, and tertiary. And those are, those are uh, words that are used to describe stages of syphilis. And so when I heard them use primary, secondary, and tertiary in, in Vienna in connection with Lyme disease in the nervous system, I thought, oh, my goodness, mm. if there's a tertiary form then maybe one of the tertiary or late manifestations could be dementia. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, syphilis had its dementia, which is uh, general paresis. Mm -hmm. And I said if, uh, if there is a dementia that is related to uh, Lyme disease re reoccurring 30 or 40 years after infection, then that might be... Uh, an Alzheimer-like illness because uh, there are many s similarities between the dementia of syphilis and uh, Alzheimer's disease. Ways that we could make connections between the uh, pathology findings in Alzheimer's disease and a spirochetal infection in the brain which, which uh, moves from the hippocampus to uh, the higher memory centers in the brain. Mm -hmm. And I had some success uh, with that uh, line of reasoning in uh, 2004, 2005, and, uh, and I gave a summary of those findings at the Philadelphia uh, meeting of the uh, LDA or <coughs> ILADS, 